So there's a software called faceapi.js. It's meant for doing face tracking on uh, web browsers, like from the client side. Funny enough, it was the best face tracking uh, software I could find. And it has uh, facial landmarking, which um, I'll, I'll show you at the end of the video. But it has facial landmarking, which is essentially keeps track of a couple of points on um, someone's face. Anyways, so I figured out a way to uh, hack it up and uh, I, I downloaded the source for like the server and whatnot and I'm, I'm using the example code and I hacked it up so that it forwards the data to uh, Python so that I can handle the facial landmarks in Python. So I'm using Pygame on top of that and doing a bunch of 3D math to uh, render this face. and. Um, the position of the face and its rotation are determined by, oh, also the mouth, are determined by the facial landmarks. The uh, mouth tracking is actually pretty good. I can make, I can make my mouth wide. I'll do this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll probably make a video to fully explain how it works, but um, yeah, this is what I've got right now. I can uh, go close, I can go further away, I can go right, I can go left, I can look down, oops, <laughs> I need to fix that. I can look down, I can look up, I can look, uh, that's I guess left for you, uh, and then I can look right, oh no that is right for you, but uh, I can look to each side, um, yeah, and there, there's a lot of visual effects going on here. There's a cloth simulation, there's particles, and then there's, yeah, obviously the 3D rendering and stuff. Also, I can get really close to the mic, uh, to the webcam like this. Hello. <laughs> there's a weird warping thing from the FOV. Um, yeah, I can also go a little bit further away, but it doesn't really work if I get too far back because my camera's, well, my webcam's not very good. Um, yeah, so here, let me get the wider view for you here. So this is the view of my desktop right now. Um, you can see the landmarks or uh, yeah, the landmarks from my actual face above to the right and a bunch of like uh, other information on the left as text and the top left is a uh, motion tracking, which I haven't implemented yet, but that's going to be very interesting to implement. Yeah, I made this the whole thing in what uh, I think a combined six to eight hours. I'm not sure. Yeah, that was interesting because I, I did have to do the 3D rendering from the ground up using polygons in Pygame, so it's not like natively supporting 3D. I had to do all the trig and stuff to get that to look 3D. Well, anyway, uh, here, let me show you Face API. It uh, tracks my face. It normally shows the webcam with this as the overlay, but I set the opacity to zero so I don't accidentally do a face reveal. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just the example code. Um, and I hacked it up so that this web page forwards the data to my uh, server that I'm running and then the server sends it to the Python script. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make a full video going over the code some point in the future. But yeah, I, I just wanted to show you guys this. <laughs> Still working on it, but uh, it's mostly done. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys later.